So 1024 by 700 screen, by 600 screen. It's a dead little camera. Um, it's interesting. The playback it's is interchangeable lens. Yes. Bring up this video. It's a little joke around, man. It's serious. Okay. My man's All serious over here, eh? Nice, nice brilliant yeah. screen. Yeah. So we have the, actually have the so same whenever you're ready. competition, but because we're... Whenever you're ready. Okay, I thought you were still taking pictures, sorry. Alright, so... Um, so it just looks brilliant. Our new professional grade tablet on the market. Okay. Dual core, uh, one gig internal so RAM. Okay. Uh, this is a 16 gig model right here. As you can see, it's, it's clean, right? Very clean, sleek. No buttons here. Two buttons on top, volume. Okay. Uh, play and pause. Uh, 2.5 millimeter jack. Okay. Two mics. On the bottom, micro, USB, mini HDMI. So when you have that output set up, say to your TV, 1080p quality you're gonna get out there. If you have strong sound system. So you'll have that uh, hooked up as well, obviously, right? Okay. So on the board here, you're going to see that we've encompassed uh, the bezel as part of the actual unit device. So if I swipe up, Okay. That's what happens. I swap up again, I get my live action bar right here. Okay. So you can see right now, we have three videos working at once. Let's dive into that a bit. So I'm going to use another gesture. I flash sideways like that. Guess what? Everything's still working. I do that. It's still working. Right? Let's check out some. That's great. That's great. Let's go to this. It's less than a pound. It's a lot lighter. 3D. Right? Let's show you how that works. Right? Very clean, right? Go in here. Let's yeah, go into okay, the browser. Yeah, okay. So okay. I've used right. one too. But what I find is this is really browsers. clean. I'm, I'm just surprised how well you guys are doing. And this is a beta. Line, we didn't so, want beta that. Okay. Right. So browsers opening up. I want the camera. So Let's flip that up. I want to show you some more stuff. I want to get the camera as well. Let's flip that up. Let's go back to the internet here. Okay. Let's go to HTML test. As that's going up, I'm going to swap gesture down. I get new tabs. Okay. Right. With the new tabs. Let's go to Google. As I go to Google, I'm gonna press it now. My keyboard comes up. Let's go CNN. We got some HTML flash. Let's hit enter. That goes up. Let's do a new tab. I'll pull down. Go to the back one. CNN.com. Let's go. Is this loading? Let's go to the camera. Let's see what's going on with that. So, camera. As you can see, it is a rear facing camera, five megapixel camera. Let's zoom in there. Hold on. You want the front one? We'll give you the front one as well. Look at that. Three like megapixels in the front. I'll show you my search. Right? We zoom that in, and you get to go. You want to record? Here we go. Let's record. HD quality recording as well. So it's an output. What happens here? Yeah, the HDMI out. You'll get us your TV. Right? So that will also give you your. I just laugh when I see this. I'm just trying to test it. Oh, it's all good. Do what you got to do. It's really well. It's all good. 720p HD or 1020. That's right. 1080. Oh, wow. That's nice. Don't trip. Don't trip. Here we go. So let's close that down. I'm going to call it away. That's how I want to do it. You want to calculate? Here we go. Unit conversion. Tip. Scientific. Okay. What else do you need, right? So we're really catering to everyone in the marketplace. Let's throw that away. Go back to CNN here. Okay. Only HTML, you can see that. Let's render that in. It's good? Yeah, absolutely. Whoa, it's very zippy. It just works straight out of the box. It's a lot better than Android. You said it, not me. I'll agree, though. It's just like a PC. Right? So that's working fine, right? Let's go back up to here. And uh, let's show another little video here. Let's go to videos. Yeah, but you can't play it here. Okay. <laughs> Let's go here. We could play it here, though, right? So I'm coming another video. Let's swipe sideways. That's what's happening. Everything else is still working. It's still going strong, right? Somebody brought up this big and smaller menu. It's really good, actually. There we go. Let's go back to that. Where's the TVC at? No, I did a search. What do you think? Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. Way better than the iPad. Oh, yep. Fantastic. I'm glad yeah, you said that as well. So here's the part two of it. You want to connect your BlackBerry to your playbook. So okay. what you do yeah, is you connect by a Bluetooth. Right, 2.1 connection. Okay. What that allows you to do is called BlackBerry Bridge. Okay. It'll bridge your BlackBerry to your playbook and let you use your email, your uh, tasks, yeah, your memo, okay. your calendar, and what does everyone love about BlackBerry? BBM. You leave it off of here. Once yeah, you get away and you lose that connection, just like it would be on your PC. disconnects, uh, nothing is saved on here. Okay. Everything is just being ported be over. So what happens is that for an IT consumer uh, uh, that doesn't want their email on there, that means compromise. So for them, it's a no-brainer. It's heaven. There you go, right? So if you lose this, that's fine. 
Adobe ARS and Cable Adobe. Uh, 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 this is not the comparable on there. You want to load files on there, micro USB. So you can still load files on there, right? So if you have a PowerPoint running on here, let's say, and it's like it's a screen you have a TV or a projector or whatever, you can have your notes on here, PowerPoint running on there. So you're going to have kind of a dual screen kind of atmosphere, right? So how do we make sure we fix that problem? Let's go from here. Wait, do we have Quake running? Yeah, we do. What's the other good one? It is the black one, it's the black one. Uh, anyway, it's games. Let's play. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy the show. Yeah, let me give you my card. There you go. Yo, you're pretty good with the... Upside down? Uh, yeah, upside down. <laughs> I'm a lighting designer. Really? Yeah. Like residential? Or uh, application oh, library. Oh, no, right. okay. yeah. Yeah, so that's being built uh, right back to the So we're in the midst of building it up. It's open to all the developers out there right now. SDK is okay. available. And it, it's getting built as we speak, right? So people are jumping on and doing what they want to do. It. Once we get closer to a launch day, which is Q1, a couple months down the road, we'll be able to give you more information on that and what it exactly is. That's how it's going to work, right? We're definitely going up the quality versus no home the quality so that we would on our actual battery devices and stuff, right? Yesterday. So, yeah. so uh, we do have two always join up with us, e-meter. We're actually doing a demo. Inside of there, I just talked to you about Blackberry Bridge and connectivity via Bluetooth power to power have your fiber like functionalities. They're going to show that to you inside of there. So if you want a, a bigger view so on that, because they're set up to uh, uh, 1080p TVs inside more data there as well. And there's also okay. Yeah. Charging right. What do you guys think? Hello. Hi, all folks. This is Max from ZeroMax.com. So I just reviewed the. Uh, well, I didn't do it, but the representative of BlackBerry, they reviewed the uh, new BlackBerry playbook. It is so nice. You know, it's so much better than iPad. It's so fast. Anyway, I'm going to definitely get one to try it out. Um, so I can compare it with uh, Android tablets. So, highly recommend it.